Hello, welcome to Sane's Academy channel. In this video, we are going to have a deeper understanding of two functions related to fivefold cross validation, namely cross val score and cross val predict. So, as is the cross validation or fivefold or k-fold cross validation, we are taking one example of fivefold cross validation where the whole data will be divided into five equal folds and accordingly we are also going to have one code example related to five fold cross validation well as is the case if we have five folds then one fold so what will be happening is one fold at a time will play a role of test set so say for example a b c d e are the five folds now a will be assuming the role of the test set b c d e will play the role of the trend set and the dot fit and dot predict and then evaluation will be done on the fold combination similarly the same validation will be repeated for b being the test set c being the test set d being the test set and also e being the test set turn by turn let's see that with the code now here we are taking a fictitious data set on pizza sales where we have promote as the independent variable and sales as the dependent variable we are now going to consider fitting linear regression model on the k-fold we have instantiated over here the k-fold class for n splits equal to 5 we are going to apply this on the pizza data set with this particular iterator if you check with this iterator it is a generator object and with this object we can see completely all the fold combinations of our train and test splits let's see that so to begin with as we want to iterate through every fold combination we will apply the enumerate function to this particular object and then extract the train indices and test indices so the train indices and test indices of different folds are as under so as you see that we have with the first fold combination the 0th first second and 10th in the test set and remaining all in the trend set similarly we have for the second fold combination we have 4th 5th 14th 15th in the test set okay so we are talking about the indices of this particular data in all this particular data has 18 the indices are from 0 to 18 and hence all these indices are going to be there for each of these fold combinations you see we will be doing the following thing so for this for these indices we will be having the dot fit and for this obviously the dot predict on these on the that two on the test set and also we will be evaluating this with r2 score we'll be following the same thing for all the fold combinations all the five fold combinations hence for every fold combination over here we will be extracting the train index and the test index in this way and then we will be having the train test split accordingly like the strain can be extracted as x dot i lock for the train index and accordingly for y train the same thing hence we have the train set accordingly 
in the similar way we can have the test set as you see with the test set we have only four observations it is following the same thing with these indices having done this we will fit the model on the trend set and predict it on the test set and evaluate it on the test set let's do that hence we have the r2 score for the for the first fold combination similar such operations can be done for all the folds in a loop let's do that and here it is and here we have got the r square scores and also predictions displayed for all the fold combinations let us accumulate this scores in a particular list as scores hence after the execution of this loop you will be having the scores list filled with all scores with all the fold combinations here comes this list also notice that with every fold combination we are also displaying the predictions accordingly so for example the prediction for the zeroth index that is the first observation is 544.56 the first one that is that is the second observation is 1321.4036 etc so let's closely look at this output so what has been obtained is the dot fit has been applied to the trend set and dot predict has been applied to the test set with these indices and we have got the following predictions similarly we have done it for every fold combinations now these particular predictions as you see are a result of a prediction from a particular fold combination and also you can notice that the test index the test index is not repeated at all well here are the predictions for 0 1 2 and 10 here are the predictions for 4 5 14 15 etc the predictions which have been displayed over here can be generated with the help of the function called cross val predict and the scores which you see over here can be generated with the function cross val score let us verify that with our python code hence as you see we have imported the two functions cross val predict and cross val score let us apply them here with lr object and as you see with cross well score we have the same scores which we had in the loop similarly about the predictions let us generate the same predictions with cross well predict so here are our predictions and you can closely verify them as this can be seen very easily over here that the first prediction that is for index 0 seems to be 544.5664 second one is this one third one is this one well for the third for index number 3 it is this one and we have found it over here for the fourth one fourth one it is this one and we have accordingly found it over here for the fifth one well 1927 and accordingly over here and all others can be similarly verified hence ultimately what you can see over here is that for collecting the predictions from the fivefold cross validation you have the function cross val predict and for collecting the scores for every fold combination you have the function cross val 
स्कोर थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू क्लिक द लाइक बटन एंड फॉर लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स फ्रॉम मी डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल थैंक यू